In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called translating the graph of an absolute value function one step. We're given two translations here, A and B. Each of these is a one step translation. And to start with, we should recall that if we have an absolute value of x, if we add a constant to that absolute value of x, this will translate up. If we subtract a constant, this will translate the absolute value function down. And then if the addition takes place inside the absolute value, this will translate left. And if we subtract a constant inside the absolute value, this will translate right. With these four in mind, we can look at the original function here, the absolute value of x. And if we're asked to graph the absolute value of x plus 2, where the plus 2 is inside, we can see that this would be the case where it is shifted left that many units. So from our original y equals absolute value of x, if I shifted that two places to the left, it would look like this. So this would be graph A. And then for graph B, we have the absolute value of x minus 5, but here the minus 5 is outside of the absolute value. So this would be a translation down 5 units. So again, starting with our original function, if I translate it down 5 units, it would still have the same V shape, just shifted down 5. 